morning gorgeous people welcome back for another video i am so excited to start today's video because it is the start of well we have been doing work in our living room but this is the start of the transformation today the plasterer is going to be coming around we are going to be having the ceiling plastered to get rid of the artex and also the wall that has got the log burner on it mark has got it already in plasterboarded got the plugs in the places that we want them to be oh hello darling hello gorgeous girl are you going to join the video are you smelling mommy's lip balm <laughs> but yeah so mark's got that all prepped and ready and as soon as the plaster has been round we're going to be able to get cracking on with the painting we're going to be able to get the flooring done and then that really is going to be the living room completely done which is just so 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 exciting hello darling i know i can see you there because we are ready now to have a living room to have a clean space there is a lot going on in every single room at the minute so we are super super excited to get this finished so i just thought i would give you a really quick tour like a before essentially before the work cracks on because yeah like i say as soon as the plaster has been round hopefully there's going to be a huge transformation going on in this room so this is how we're currently looking obviously you can see the ceiling is still got artex all over it we really need to take that light down before tomorrow um because they're going to be doing the ceiling tomorrow and working on this wall today as you can see mark's got the plasterboard already and the plug sockets where we want them so down there is going to be the plugs and a cupboard up to about here where all the wires are going to be hidden in the root is going to be in there so we won't be able to see that and then this is the tv and aerial point as well in the middle there so the television is going to be on a bracket and it will pull out there and then over on this side i've just got a little plug up here because again there's going to be another cupboard here and i want to put a nice vase on the shelf here just to add a bit of sort of like dim light to the room in the evening and then the whole chimney breast will get plastered too. The rest of the walls are actually looking okay. This is all just leftover whitewash where previously it was not done correctly, which is super annoying because that means that the paint literally peeled off so we couldn't paint straight over the top. So the best thing, so that we had a super smooth surface. Service? Surface was to scrape all of the paint off, which is what we've done. So we're now back to plaster and we can now give it our own white coat and get it super smooth there did also used to be a dado rail going all the way around which is what you can see the outline of here but mark has taken that off sanded it all back and yeah we're just back to square one again now but even with like all of the paint off and now that we've got these walls completely flush because there used to be a lot of boxing in from the pipes over there oh also as well mark has with the pipes we've got them buried into the floor i think i mentioned that in our last vlog but the plumber came around and yeah they're all in the floor Marker's concreted on top, so we are literally ready to fully go get the flooring done in here too. So this is what the pipes look like. As you can see, they have been buried all into the ground now because they used to be all up above, so they're concreted over now too. And it just means that we don't have those pipes like showing and exposed anymore, so we can put our nice big skirting boards on. It'll just look so much neater. The skirting board can just run up to the cupboard and yeah it will just look a lot 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 nicer so we are good to go in here so yeah this is the before and i shall catch up with you and update you once the plaster has been we've got to wait for it to dry and then we'll be able to crack on with painting which just excites me so 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 much
morning gorgeous people so it is now quite a lot later actually when did the plasterers come round so a week ago but yeah so the plasterers came round last thursday it is now the following wednesday um it's taken a little while for the plaster to actually dry which is why i haven't updated you because you don't literally want to watch a wall dry so it is now all completely dry mark's been doing a lot a lot of prep work over today and yesterday getting just like where they're old walls there's like lots of little divots that need to be filled um where we've taken all the coving off the top of the ceiling there was like a little dink that marks easy filled and got rid of all of that what else have you done darling what haven't you done indeed you've got the bracket for the television lined up on the wall that's all good to get ready and screwed in um, and he is currently just masking up the room so that it's ready for painting. So we're very lucky that um, we've actually got a sprayer available to use too. So we're going to be using that for the mist coat um, and also to do like the white coats where it's going straight onto plaster. We need to do a few of those first. And then it will be time to get the colour on. We actually went yesterday as well and ordered our carpet. So we're waiting for that to come in. They said it can take sort of like two to three weeks for it to come in and then hopefully they can get us a fitting date soon after that. I mean, it might be earlier, but... Obviously, they just give like longer time scales just in case. But yeah, I will show you the living room and how it's looking at the moment. It's looking a lot different and it's really exciting. So all of the Artex has gone from the ceiling. That is all gone. It's all nice and smooth. Hello, Mackie. <laughs> um, and yeah, that wall has been completely covered. So this is all ready. We've got the plug there ready for a little lamp. These these <laughs> this these plugs over here are ready for the tv bracket that's where the tv bracket's gonna go we're gonna have a little cupboard down here there's another plug socket for like the router um and like an extension cable just anything that we need in there wires wise but yeah this is how we are looking it's looking so much bigger in here now that it's been plastered and we've got all the artex off this is all nice and smooth and the room actually looks a lot bigger where we've got rid of the coving as well which is great at the top but yeah we're just getting this window masked um because we'll be putting a little plastic sheet up over that as well so that we can just blitz it and get spraying what are we doing about the um the carpet while you're spraying uh, i'll put the plastic sheet over it what i think it is Get the plastic sheet which you think is long enough. Right. And tuck it underneath the carpet so it can't. Flail about flail everywhere. Bro. Yeah, because what we've decided is we're going to keep this carpet just for the time being because when we come to do the kitchen, we're going to want the same flooring all the way through, like through the living room and into the kitchen because we're going to have wooden flooring. And we don't want to do the flooring in here now because we don't know when we're going to end up doing the kitchen and don't want to end up having to like mismatch and get different floorings. We want to just do it all the same time. So we're just going to leave the carpet in here, give it a good clean. And then when we come to do the kitchen, we'll be able to do the flooring and everything all the way through. So yeah, that's where we're up to. The next stage is to get spraying. substantial amount of time later i am actually sat in the living room right now this is a little glimpse of what we've been up to i say we again mark <laughs> i've been at work i haven't done anything but <laughs> i haven't actually done anything in here have i is there one thing that i've done pick the color i picked the color <laughs> Oh my goodness, I haven't actually done anything in here, but as you can probably hear, Mark's doing the final touches in here at the moment. We're just finishing off the flooring, the spraying has been done, the final colour is on the walls, 
everywhere around the fireplace has been painted the television is up on the wall and yeah march just finished off laying the flooring today are you finishing the whole flooring today do you I reckon so, yeah. okay cool so what i will do is i will give you a full updated tour because this is a massive before and after it looks so different to how it did at the beginning of the video to how it does now but I thought I would just show you some bits that I picked up from Argos, Sainsbury's, Habitat. They've all sort of like merged into one, I think. Our kettle broke, basically, and I thought I'll use this time to um, get a kettle and a toaster because we've never actually had a toaster. So I picked one up and I thought I'd just open them now quickly with you in case you like the look of them and then I can link them down below. Right, what's in this first one then? Oh, we have a toaster. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just never thought there would be a day where I'd be sat doing a little unboxing with you of kitchen appliances and being this excited about it. But here we are. We have got a toaster. This is the one that we've gone for. It's this cream and I got it because I actually really liked the like rib effect that was on it. But we will be in time doing a complete transformation of our kitchen as well. Like that is going to be all ripped out and all redone. So I thought I would get what we actually want for the kitchen when that's all done as well. Let me just get out the box and have a look here as well. Woo! Oh, I really like that. For like more of a budget toaster, that looks a hell of a lot more expensive than what it actually was. Look at that. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Do you like it? Yeah. I know there's not actually really that much to say about a toaster. <laughs> it looks really nice, doesn't it? And then with the matching kettle, let's have a look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Cute! Oh, I'm chuffed with those. I just really like the uh, the ribbed kind of effect on them. I just thought it was something a little different, you know? Oh, that looks cute. That's smart. I like that. And then in the last parcel is something that is super exciting for me. It should be a watering can. <laughs> Did you ever think I was going to get this into gardening? That I was getting absolutely like super excited over a watering can. I didn't see this coming. Like I knew I was going to be really excited about growing my own veg, but I never thought that I'd be like buzzing over getting a little watering can. And it should be my new favorite color as well. Oh. Oh, that is just the perfect colour green. Whoa. <laughs> Nearly dropped it. Oh, that is adorable. Look at that. That is exactly what we needed. That is just so cute because I needed one with this end on it because all my little sprutlings, when I was watering, it was like too hard on them. So this is going to be a nice little rainfall on them now. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. I can't believe how happy I am about this water and can. <laughs> but it's so cute, I love it. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Argo. So I'm gonna let Mark crack on because I feel like I'm fully distracting you from actually getting on and I doing it. I don't make too much noise. You can make as much noise as you want, darling. Do anything. Get your hammer out. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna, yeah, let Mark crack on now and then hopefully I shall catch up with you this evening and the flooring will be completely done. So yeah, I shall um, catch up with you later on. I'm looking a little bit disheveled because I have just been out in the sun. It is beautiful today, like the sun is shining. I'm pretty sure it's the only day that we've got of this beautiful sun, but it is literally like 20 degrees, I think it is. And I am certainly making the most of it, but this video is due to go up tomorrow so I did just want to catch up with you and I cannot believe what I'm about to show you. I am so excited. I can genuinely not express how 
happy having this room is done like yesterday I just kept on saying to Mark like do you ever just take a minute and just really like appreciate how far we've come how grateful like I am that we're turning this into our own home like it just feels amazing like really really amazing it's so nice that we are just like completely changing this into our own home so although there's a lot of work going into it although Mark's doing a lot of work going into it it's oh it's just all so 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 worth it it's just looking amazing but anyway without further ado this is how we're looking with the living room oh my goodness i cannot get over the difference it is just shocking compared to the before and compared to how it was at the beginning of this video to where we are now it's just absolutely unbelievable so the catch-ups then obviously we have it's not going to focus because our walls <laughs> are all painted and are all bright now but obviously it's been sprayed we have chosen our last color we have gone for almond white and it is a valspar b and q color so it's just a very very it's the most extremely lightest neutral stone color that i could find all the other ones just seemed a bit green a little bit gray I don't know if you've seen from previous vlogs, but for some reason, this room takes paint completely different. Like, I put skimming stone on the wall, and it literally looked like I just put dark green on the wall. It was so bizarre. But anyway, yes, the architraves are back on. We just need to go through and fill and paint the little holes where Mark has just nail gunned this in um everything all around here has been painted we've got the door off at the minute because we're going to pop this light behind the architrave into the door frame and feed it out we'll just need to knock a little bit of plaster off there we're going to switch over to this side so that we can open the door this way because then it just leaves a lot of room here the next thing as well that i need to do is this cage situation like I don't think it brings up on camera actually how ginormous this cage is and both of the dogs literally fit into this bit here and they sleep snuggled up together so it's not as if even like one uses this space and one uses that space which when we originally brought it not brought it bought it that's what we thought was originally going to happen but it's not they literally sleep one on top of each other like a little beagle bundle either in the back or the front and it's just unneeded so what i want to do is I'll pop a little picture up on the screen here of like inspo that I've seen, but you can create like side units that like double up as a dog crate. I ideally would like to have them like up in the spare room. Let me just turn around and talk to you for a second. Um, but I ideally would love to have it so that they can have their own like little mini bed in the spare room or this sofa, which will be going upstairs. I'd like them just to sleep on that in the spare room, but I just know really it wouldn't work. They absolutely love being together. I know that Pippa would just be like wanting to come into our bedroom the whole time and it just wouldn't work. And plus Harley, oh, she loves her crate so, 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 so much. Like this is why I haven't got rid of it so far because she just absolutely loves being in there. Like even when like Mark and I and Pippa are all up in bed upstairs having a massive cuddle, she's like, I'm off to my crate and she just leaves us and comes down here. So that's why I haven't got rid of it yet. So I'm hoping that I can make, well, I'm hoping my dad will make a really nice sort of like side cabinet unit, which is like doubles up as a dog crate, but also a side unit that I can style up and make look nice rather than a massive chunky black metal <laughs> crate inside of our lovely newly done living room. But yeah, so that is the next thing that I want to get sorted along with in the alcoves. So down here, I don't want to explain it again because I already have twice in this video, but we need to get the cupboards in here and then this one for the big log store. I've sort of like decided how I want to style up this area as well. I know it's probably going to change like a hundred different times, but I would love to get like a big mirror and maybe a bit of stand up art with some books, a little like matchstick pot for the log burner and obviously the lamp the evening so something along those lines i'm just excited to get everything styled up now this is also exactly the same sofa as to what we'll be getting now we originally 
didn't think that we were going to have room for a two seat here and a two seat here this is an old sofa that will be going also these pillowcases will be going i'm going to keep all the inners but just get new covers for them so they fit our new like style and decor but those ones actually just came with this sofa but yeah this is exactly the same as what we'll have down here this is just the sofa bed for the spare room that we got in clearance from sophology but yeah i told you the story about that in a different vlog but instead of having the two seater i think we're going to get a snuggle chair because we don't need two seaters and i'd rather make it feel like more roomy in here than try and cramp in more seating so we're going to get a big snuggle chair exactly the same style and then have a two seater the same as this over where this one is now but this is the flooring that we went for as well it's just a really really dark oak color what i'll do is i'll pop a picture of the um the actual name up on it here because it was really affordable actually and i think it looks amazing if i do say so myself but it's just so nice being able to have the log burner out and just getting a glimpse of what it's going to look like soon but i'm just excited to get the cupboards in so i can start styling bits up now i need to get the sofas ordered but yeah we have made oh gosh we've just made the biggest progress in this video and it's just like i say it's just made us so 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 happy so in the next video hopefully we'll be seeing the carpet go in we have started upstairs in the main bedroom getting the wardrobes built mark's actually building them all himself he's just <laughs> he's so talented i don't know like what i would have done without him but yeah he's building our wardrobes for us so we can have them to like the exact size we want the exact like shelving and everything we want on the inside and it is actually a lot 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 cheaper too so we're saving like a lot of money doing it that way instead but yeah hopefully We'll see a bit of a um, master bedroom transformation in the next video. I'm not really sure what can happen because with renovations, things change so quickly. And I have learned that not to try and make like too much of a plan with it because yeah, things change. But that's where we're up to at the moment. I'm going to sign off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have got to the end, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.